The Sony ZV-E1 is hands down one of the best cameras you can buy to create YouTube videos or social media content with. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about seven reasons why you should consider buying this camera as I've used it for well over three months at this point. And let me start off by saying, I absolutely love this camera. But let's talk about reason number one. You gotta just press record. Reason number one has to be the overall value you get by investing in this camera. The insides of this camera is equivalent to Sony's A7S III which comes in at $3,500 at the time of shooting this video, but this camera is valued at $2,200. Now maybe you're asking, what does the Sony a7S III have over this camera? And really it's all exterior. The Sony a7S III, you're gonna get the viewfinder, you're gonna get all the buttons that you would typically have to create custom buttons with. It's a lot more pro, but for the simplicity to create content with, this camera is absolutely awesome considering that you're gonna get the same image quality from that Sony a7S III. Reason number two is that this is a full frame camera that is totally usable for beginners. In the past, I would encourage people to actually get the Sony a7 IV, which is a hybrid camera, meaning it's really good for photography and video. And although that camera is still awesome, it's more expensive than this camera. And I would even say it's actually more difficult to learn than this camera. Sony created this camera with the beginner in mind, but the image quality that this camera puts out is definitely pro. It allows you to record up to 10 bit footage meaning you're gonna get so much information. So you have the ability to actually grow with a camera like this. And because this camera can shoot 10 bit color, it means that you could actually shoot in a flat colored profile like S-Log2 or S-Log3 and then get into color grading if you wanna you know, create more cinematic videos. The image out of this camera straight out, like no coloring, no nothing, looks absolutely amazing. And I've been traveling with this camera a ton and my video person Art has been filming me and sometimes it's different lighting conditions. Sometimes I'm speaking on stages. In every environment, it absolutely shines, especially when you pair it with the right lens. It's a camera that's incredible for beginners, but will absolutely allow you to grow with it and you learn how to use it. Reason number three is using this camera as a webcam. You know, in the past, you would have to buy an HDMI cable and then a capture card. But what's so cool about the Sony ZV-E1 is you can use this as your webcam with the single use of a USB cable plugged in from the camera into your computer or laptop, and then boom, you have a high quality 1080 image that is gonna make you stand out on Zoom calls, on live streams. It's a great camera for that reason as well. Reason number four, and a lot of people don't talk about this, but is aspect marker. Let's say you're shooting YouTube videos and you wanna turn that into vertical videos. You're gonna have to crop this file into a vertical video to make sure it looks right for social media. But what's cool about aspect ratio, it's actually an on-screen visualization. You could frame your image just to make sure that it's gonna look good also as a Instagram reel or a YouTube short. It's just a dope feature and I would encourage you to access it if you do get this camera. Reason number five is actually shooting vertical videos with this camera. I love that this camera rotates your images or rotates your video when you do decide to shoot vertically. So I'll have Art put together a really cool recap using the Sony ZV-E1. All he has to do is take out the SD card, plug it into his smartphone, he drags the footage into CapCut, and he puts together a recap video that is like super crispy on his phone, and then we just airdrop it, upload it to Instagram. Not having to rotate every image is such a great peace of mind thing when you know that you are filming those vertical videos for social media. Reason number six is this camera has in-body image stabilization, other known as IBIS. Now, this means that there's actual hardware built into the camera that is gonna keep the sensor smooth so that if you are doing handheld footage or maybe you're vlogging, you're gonna get a very smooth image and very natural image. It's not gonna look warpy or you know wavy or anything like that. And I've actually been using this camera a lot with the 24 to 70 G Master lens and it is amazing. Like you don't really see that human jitter or that shake when you use that setup. And what's crazy is I'm not even maximizing the ability to get the smoothest footage because you can pair a lens that has what is called optical steady shot, which is you know, physical internal technology to smooth out your image and you pair that with IBIS or in-body image stabilization from this camera, you can almost get away to close to gimbal looking footage. Reason number seven is great audio. This camera is made for you to have an incredible convenient 
audio experience. There's a feature in this camera called microphone directivity. And so you could literally tell this camera to pick up audio when something is coming from the front of the camera. So let's say you're a vlogger, you want the audio to come from this way, but when I turn it around, it's gonna not really pick up my audio from behind the camera. But if you wanted to change that, you could totally do that. So it's really cool that they've included very smart technology if you are using the onboard mic. Now, what is also cool about this camera is that they have what is called the multi-interface shoe. You can invest in Sony's accessories. There's this device called the Sony K3M and it actually give your camera two XLR inputs so you don't have to record to a separate device. Even right now, I'm using an XLR boom mic and I have it plugged in via XLR into my Sony camera and it's syncing the audio all together, giving me really high quality audio. But Sony also sells shotgun mics that go on this multi-interface shoe. And there's even a headphone jack on this camera so you could monitor the audio, making sure the audio sounds good. Now, a lot of people have said this camera has a tendency to overheat when using it for long periods of time. I would say based on my own personal experiences with this camera, I haven't experienced any overheating. I've been using dozens and dozens and dozens of cameras over the years, testing them out. And this hands down has to be one of my favorites. Be sure to check out the used deals on Amazon as Amazon does warranty used deals. And I just looked right before filming this video and there was actually one that was $200 off. So you could save a lot of money by checking out that link in the description. I hope you got value in this review. If you actually wanna see another camera review from a newer Sony camera, you can click or tap the screen and I can't wait to see you in a future video. Peace.